Today, the 7th of February, 2023, Jerome Powell spoke at the Economic Club of Washington. I took notes and here are the highlights of what he said. Last week's FOMC was that the disinflationary process has begun, but there is still a long way to go. The jobs report was certainly stronger than anyone expected. The process is going to be bumpy. We need further rate increases. The strong jobs report shows you why we think this will be a process that takes a significant period of time. We probably need to do further interest rate increases, Powell said. The Fed anticipates that further rate increases will be necessary, but they have not yet reached a sufficiently restrictive level. Fed bids for a three-year notes totaled $15.6 billion. If data continues to come in stronger than expected, rates will almost certainly be erased further. 2% inflation is a global norm, and the Fed has no plans to change it. I expect, Powell says, 2023 to be a year of significant declines in inflation. It will almost certainly take until next year to get down to 2%. Because the economy is stronger, the labor market is stronger. The pandemic has created a long-term labor shortage in the United States. The shortage feels structural, though. Right now, Powell says the labor market is at least at maximum employment, if not beyond. It will be a couple of years before the Fed's balance sheet decline comes to an end. Fiscal authorities are concerned about the debt limit. The debt limit debate can only end with Congress raising it, which has to happen. No one should believe the Fed can protect the economy if the debt ceiling is not raised. The Fed has the tools to achieve its 2% target over time, Powell says but the global events influence inflation. We need to be patient, not seeing this inflation yet in services sector. The United States is only at the beginning of the deflationary process. Housing disinflation has not yet occurred, but I expect it to occur in the second half of this year. I still anticipate the labor market softening. It is possible that this cycle may be different. The labor market remains strong while wages are moderating. Wage increases have been reduced to a level closer to a sustainable level. We will respond to the data, Powell said. If strong labor market reports or high inflation reports continue, the Fed may need to raise rates further. We will need to do more rate increases, then look around and see if it's enough. He also said he's on $180,000 wage per year. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, subscribe to my channel. I post videos weekly of businesses. You can start with little or no money. I talk about business, I talk about stocks, I talk about the markets and everything business and a little bit of comedy. Thank you for watching and have a lovely evening.